Man, I hate the Yankees. Yeah, you are all villains to me because I happen to live in this region of the country. Yeah! What's going on? Did I miss something? Ah, just some idiot streaking across the field. Uh, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. Oh, cool. Two spots opened up. You, uh, you, uh, you, you go ahead. I, I can wait. I, I might, I might wait for a stall. Oh, come on, Peter. We're missing the game. <sighs> Hi. Hey. Damn it. He already started. If I don't start peeing soon, it's gonna be weird. He'll be all done and I'll still be here. Come on, Peter. Pee. Your dad fought in World War II and you can't even pee in a urinal. What the hell's wrong with you? All set? Yep. I know you didn't go. I'm gonna go pee in a stairwell. Now batting for the Red Sox, number 34, David Ortiz. Come on, Big Pappy! It's coming straight for us! I got it! I got it! It's mine! I got it! It's my ball! Damn it, Brian! That came to me! That's my ball! What? Holy crap! <laughs> <gasps> Wow. I guess all this time Quagmire should have been saying wiggity. Huh. No, but he is our friend. And now it's time for the Channel 5 Sports Report, brought to you by Kia. Kia. Too bad it's a Kia. A big day at Fenway today as the Red Sox bested the Yankees 7-6. to six. But what really has everyone talking is the fan who lost his toupee at the game. The hilarious video already has over 2 million views on YouTube. Comments ranged from sympathy all the way to racial slurs directed at others who chose to comment. Great. I'm a laughing stock. What do I do? Come on, Quagmire. It's not so bad. You could kill yourself. Well, it's just a thought, but have you ever considered just embracing your baldness? Yeah, Brian's right. You know, there's lots of big Hollywood celebrities who have gone bald with dignity. John Travolta, David Spade, Nicolas Cage, Jeremy Piven. And besides, don't you think you'll be happier just being who you really are? Huh, maybe you're right. What the hell? I mean, what, what other choice do I have at this point? Everybody knows now anyway. Great. Trust me, nobody's going to give you a hard time. And even if they do, just ignore them. That's what I do with that weekend bully. Hey, your weekend sucks! I've already gone on a hike and fixed a few things around my house. What are you doing? Peter, who is that man? I don't want to talk about it. Dad, there's a weird bald guy out in front of our house. Oh, that's just Quagmire. He's acting all different now that he's bald. I'll go talk to him. Hey, slow down! Drive like hell, you'll get there! Quagmire, what the hell are you doing? I'm just letting all these hot rodders know that this is a neighborhood, not a speedway track. Too fast, too fast! Our children should not have to live in fear! Okay, well, how come you're not doing this in front of your own house? Oh, my ham radio interferes with the radar gun. Talked to a fella in Papua New Guinea last night. You should come by sometime and join in the fun. Hello? Uh, hello? Are you bald? Yeah. Can I help you? Well, I hope you can, Sharon. I'd just like to return this VHS copy of Pete's Dragon. Watched, enjoyed, and rewound. Uh, there are a lot of people waiting. Is there anything else? Uh, yes. Do you have a garbage can back there? I have the backings to some fruit roll-ups I need to discard. I'm sorry. That's for library trash only. I understand. It's okay. I'll just hold on to these for the rest of the day. It ain't easy being green, huh? <laughs> that's from a song. Is that all? Yeah. Is there an age restriction for the sleight-of-hand magic show this afternoon? Twelve. Oh. Well, maybe I'll just stand in the hallway and look in. Now, we all saw you put your card back in the deck, so how did it end up in your shirt pocket? Oh, my God. How did he do that? 